Hey there, Melbourne. Hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Sending love and hoping you're all safe and sound. Today we're experiencing some of the wildest weather we've seen in a long time. We're facing some seriously wild weather today, folks. The skies have turned dark and the storm clouds are rolling in fast. It's like Mother Nature decided to throw a tantrum and Melbourne's caught right in the middle of it. The rain is coming down in sheets and it's relentless. We're talking torrential rain, howling winds, the whole shebang. The streets are turning into rivers and the wind is howling like a freight train. This isn't just a little drizzle, people. It's a full-blown storm and it's showing no signs of letting up anytime soon. We're talking buckets of rain coming down sideways. The wind is so strong it's making the rain fall horizontally. It's so windy out there, even my dancing can't compete. The gusts are powerful enough to knock you off your feet. The streets are flooded, trees are down, and it's pretty chaotic out there. Cars are struggling to make it through the water and fallen trees are blocking roads. So, if you don't have to be out and about, please stay put. It's much safer to stay indoors and wait for the storm to pass. Curl up with a good book, binge watch your favorite show, just stay safe and dry inside. It's the perfect time to catch up on some relaxation. And if you absolutely have to go out, be extra careful. Make sure you're dressed appropriately with raincoats and umbrellas and watch out for any hazards on the roads and sidewalks. Remember, we're all in this together. Look out for your neighbors and lend a helping hand if you can. Emergency services are working hard to keep everyone safe. So let's do our part too. The storm will pass and the skies will clear. Until then, stay safe, stay dry and take care of each other, Melbourne. We'll get through this wild weather together. This storm is no joke, folks. It's one of those rare weather events that makes you stop and take notice. We're talking about some of the heaviest rain Melbourne has seen in a while. The downpour is relentless, turning streets into streams and making it nearly impossible to stay dry. The wind is so strong it could blow you off your feet. And trust me, I know a thing or two about dancing in the wind. It's not just a breeze, it's a force to be reckoned with, bending trees and making walking a challenge. The roads are like rivers, and the wind is tossing things around like confetti. Debris is scattered everywhere, making it hazardous for anyone brave enough to venture outside. It's making driving incredibly dangerous. The combination of waterlogged streets and high winds is a recipe for disaster. Visibility is low, and there's debris flying everywhere. Drivers can barely see a few feet ahead, and the risk of accidents is high. Plus, with the wind knocking down power lines, traffic lights are out in many areas. This adds another layer of chaos to an already tumultuous situation. If you have to drive, please be extra cautious. Slow down, take your time, and be aware of your surroundings. Slow down, turn on your headlights, and keep a safe distance from other vehicles. It's crucial to stay visible and maintain control of your vehicle. And if you encounter a flooded road, remember, turn around, don't drown. It's better to find an alternate route than to risk your life trying to drive through deep water. Emergency services are working tirelessly to respond to incidents and rescue those in need. Their efforts are heroic, but they can only do so much. In times like these, it's heartening to see communities come together. Neighbours helping neighbours, strangers offering assistance. It's a reminder of the strength and resilience of the human spirit. Once the storm passes, the cleanup efforts will begin. It will take time and effort to restore normalcy, but with everyone pitching in, we'll get through this together. And remember, after every storm comes a rainbow. Stay safe, stay strong, and look out for one another. This wild weather has knocked out power for thousands of Melburnians. The storm has been relentless, with heavy rain and fierce winds battering the city, leaving many in complete darkness. Can you imagine? No lights, no internet, no way to make your morning coffee. It's a situation that many of us take for granted until it's gone. The simple act of flipping a switch and expecting light is suddenly a luxury. It's enough to make you want to dance the stress away. Some families are making the best of it, turning the outage into an impromptu dance party, finding joy in the little moments despite the inconvenience. Powercore and United Energy 
the companies responsible for restoring power, are working around the clock to get things back online. Their teams are out in the field, braving the elements to ensure that power is restored as quickly and safely as possible. But with the storm still raging, it's a tough job. The wind and rain make it difficult to work, and the conditions are far from ideal. These workers are true heroes, putting their safety on the line to help others. Downed power lines and flooded substations are making repairs difficult and dangerous. The damage to the infrastructure is extensive, and each repair requires careful planning and execution to avoid further issues. In the meantime, if you're without power, check on your neighbours, especially elderly or vulnerable individuals. Community support is crucial during times like these, and a simple act of kindness can make a big difference. And remember, never touch a downed power line. Always assume it's live and extremely dangerous. Safety should always be the top priority. Stay informed, stay safe, and support each other through this challenging time. Okay folks, listen up. This storm is serious business, so we need to take safety seriously. Here are a few tips to keep you safe and sound. First things first, stay indoors if you can. It's just not worth risking your safety by venturing out in this weather. If you must go out, wear bright, reflective clothing so drivers can see you. Avoid walking or driving through floodwaters. You never know how deep it is or what might be lurking beneath the surface. And stay away from downed power lines. Always assume they're live and dangerous. Section 5. Emergency response in full swing. SES works tirelessly. The amazing folks at the State Emergency Service, or SES, are working tirelessly to keep everyone safe. They're responding to calls for help, clearing debris, and assisting those affected by the storm. Talk about real-life superheroes. They're out there braving the elements, risking their own safety to help others. So let's show them some love and appreciation for their incredible dedication. If you see an SES crew, give them a thumbs up, a wave, or even a thank you shout out. And remember, if you need assistance, don't hesitate to call the SES on 132 500. They're there to help, 24 seven. Section six, weather warnings. Stay informed, stay safe. Staying informed about the latest weather warnings from the Bureau of Meteorology is crucial. They're the experts, and they're keeping a close eye on the situation. Check their website or download their app to get real-time updates and warnings. Pay attention to severe weather warnings, flood watches, and any other alerts issued by the bomb. Knowing what to expect can help you make informed decisions to stay safe. Remember, knowledge is power, and in this case, it could save your life. Section 7 Community Spirit Shines, helping each other through the storm. One of the things I love most about Melbourne is the incredible sense of community. And in times of need, like today, that spirit shines even brighter. Neighbours are helping neighbours, strangers are lending a hand, and everyone's pulling together to get through this. Whether it's checking on elderly neighbours, sharing supplies, or simply offering words of encouragement, every act of kindness makes a difference. It's heartwarming to see people coming together to support one another. So let's keep spreading the love, Melbourne. We're in this together, and together we'll weather this storm. Section 8. The Long Road to Recovery Assessing the Damage as the storm subsides, the long road to recovery begins. The full extent of the damage is still being assessed, but it's clear that this wild weather has left its mark on our city. From flooded homes and businesses to downed trees and power lines, there's a lot of cleaning up to do. But Melburnians are a resilient bunch. We'll roll up our sleeves, get to work, and rebuild our city stronger than ever. It won't be easy, and it will take time, but we'll get there, together. Section 9 Stay strong. Melbourne, brighter days ahead. Melbourne, we've been through a lot today. 
but we're a tough city with even tougher people. We've faced challenges before, and we've always come out stronger on the other side. So stay strong, stay safe, and know that brighter days are ahead. The sun will shine again, the floodwaters will recede, and we'll rebuild our city together. Sending you all my love and positive vibes. We've got this, Melbourne.